everyone, it's officially fall. Aldi invited me to share one of my sweet fall recipes with you all. I decided to make one of my favorites, an apple tart. And every fall, I go to the Berkshires with my group of closest friends. Plus some canine love, this is Lucy the Mastiff. She's enormous and has the sweetest heart. We go hiking together, canoe on the river. Connor loves when I'm taking video because that means I'm not paddling. Yeah, yeah he loves that part. And cook and eat together. I partnered with Aldi to get the goods for our retreat and got up early one morning to put it together before the day's activities began. Here's how to make an easy and delicious apple you tart. Lucy, no, Lucy. <laughs> For the pastry, you'll want 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter, or one and a half sticks. Save that other half for later. Cut up the butter. In a bowl, combine two cups of flour, a fourth cup sugar, and a scant teaspoon of salt. Stir that together, then using your fingertips, incorporate the butter chunks in a technique called sablage until it becomes the consistency of breadcrumbs. Add approximately a half cup of ice water, just enough for the dough to start coming together. Quickly knead it into a ball, wrap it in plastic, and refrigerate it for an hour. What I just showed you can actually be done in a food processor if you're in a crunch for time, but using my fingers is how I was taught in culinary school, so it's my go-to. Plus, it's kind of nice to be able to travel and not have to rely on having a food processor on hand. Heat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Get three to four Granny Smith apples and slice the apples, cutting out the core. Take out your dough and roll it to a bit smaller than your sheet pan. Place the slices of apple on top, slightly overlapping, or in any design you prefer. Then you'll want to get about a third cup of sugar and add in a teaspoon of cinnamon. Adding the spice is optional, but especially come autumn, I say bring on the cinnamon. Cut up that other half stick of butter. Add the butter and the cinnamon sugar on top of the apple slices and bake for 45 minutes. Heat a half cup of apricot jelly with a fourth cup of water and stir over heat. When the tart is done, spread a thin layer of the apricot glaze on top, then let it cool. And at the end of a day full of fun, <laughs> it's time to dig in. <laughs> hey guys, tart's ready! Yeah. In my opinion, this treat is best enjoyed with friends. Well. Mm, love. <laughs> love, love. Yeah, dude. <laughs> These Granny Smiths are probably the best ones I've had in a while. Yeah, we were eating them earlier too. Yeah, they're not so tart. Good. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so good. And I think it's fair to say it was a success. What? <laughs> Don't forget guys, keep it quirky!